Parashas Shoftim, Tavshinayin Zayin. We're now officially into Elul. First of all, I want to say that I'm very happy to be back at our home headquarters, Bikachalim of Lakewood. Actually, this time, I thought that everybody here would come join us in Eretz Yisrael, but it didn't work out that way, so we're happy now to be saying our shir once again. It's been, I think, over a month since we've been here. We took the show on the road for, uh, for a little while. And now, as in past years, when we get to these parshios, parsha shoiftim especially, which is usually the beginning of Elul, so while speaking about parsha shoiftim, we've also gone into and stressed the importance of and the connection to Chodesh Elul. And sometimes, actually, it feels a bit tough to go right from the summer vacation mindset to the actual seriousness and introspection and the reality check that Chodesh Elul actually brings to every person. And the Nesiv Sholem brings and he speaks about, on this Indian, he speaks about Anoyam Elimelech on our Parsha, on the beginning of the Parsha, on the first Pasuk, the, the first Pasuk of the Parsha tells us, Shoytim v'shoytrim, titem l'cha b'chol she'arecha, that we are told to have a Shoytim and Shoytrim b'chol she'arecha. Now, the Farshim give many, many different, different translations and different ways of explaining what these words of Shoytim and Shoytrim actually mean to us. But Chazal tell us, Gemara Masech Tabrachas Daf Samachalaf on the base, something very, very interesting. And Chazal tell us like this, that Tzadikim Yetzer Toiv Shoifta, that on a Tzadik, it's the Yetzer Toiv that rules over them, who is Shoim Yetzer Hara Shoifta. And when it comes to Benanim, which is the average person that is neither to the extreme of a Tzadik, nor to the extreme of a Rosh Hashanah, but by Benonim, Zeh Vazeh Shoifka. So, really, we can assume and we hope, really, most people, of course, there are the Tzadikim of the world, but most people fall into that category of where we are the average person, where we try our hardest, we don't always make it, and we go into the category of Benonim where it tells us, the Gemara tells us, Zeb is a shaitan, that you have the Yetzer Ra and the Yetzer Toy. And really, what the Nesiv Shalom is telling us here is that a tzaddik watches himself, a tzaddik we know is always very careful, and, he's tr- and he tries to make sure not to do anything bad. And at the same time as he's trying not to do anything bad, a tzaddik we know he's Isaac, he's busy, with Torah, umasim toivim. But what does it mean, Yetzer toiv shoiftam? It means that the Yetzer toiv still gives them musr, gives every tzaddik musr, and tells them that they're not doing enough. That yes, you're, you're, you're trying to do Torah, umasim toivim, but Yetzer toiv shoiftam means that it's always on the tzaddik's head, because he's hearing these voices in his head, the ancient Torah telling him, yeah, you're doing, you're doing good things, but you could always be doing more. They still need to, and they always want to do more. So a tzaddik, although he's doing the right thing, but in his head, the Yetzir Torah shows them. He's always being prodded by the Yetzir Torah to do more. Rishoyim, says in the Tzivishon, are different. They're on the other side of this equation. Because it says that the Yetzirah is the one that's ruling over them. That's always inside their heads. What does that mean? Because the Yetzirah is always telling a Russia that you're not doing anything wrong. Like the Russia can be doing things, always, always doing things wrong. But you have the Yetzirah that's always telling them, keep on doing what you're doing. You're doing great. You're not doing anything wrong. Yeah, there's always a good excuse. There's always, don't think you're doing anything wrong. So the Yitzhah takes over the mind of a Russia, And he rules over 
the Russia, telling them, don't worry, you're doing great, my friend. You're not doing anything wrong. The Yitzhara convinces the Russia that everything that you're doing is mitzvahs and it's my and toivim. And, and these are things that, you know, people, you can identify with something like this, right? Like, try to tell a person that you should not be speaking Lashon Hara, that you shouldn't be doing this. And he'll turn around and he'll tell you, what are you talking about? On a person like this, it's a mitzvah to, 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 it's a mitzvah to say Lashon Hara. It's a mitzvah to bury this person. It's a mitzvah. That's the Yitzhah Hara in the mind saying, you're not doing anything wrong. Don't worry. You're doing great. However, the shlemus of a person, the complete person, the person that really has it all together, needs the balance of both, says the Nesiva Shalom. You need to take the Yetzirah Hara and the Yetzirah Toyb and have them both doing work for you. Like the Gemara says, that of the Benini. A person who's a regular person has and needs both the Yetzirah Toyb and the Yetzirah Hara to work with them in order to grow. And, what, and how, do you, how do we actually use the balance? You know, if the person knows that a Kaddish Baruch Hu is happy if he does mitzvahs and ma'is and ta'ivim, right? And a person has to know, you should never get down on yourself. Never say, I'm not doing it. Yes, you have to push yourself a little bit, but a person would give up. If you thought that everything that you did, a Kaddish Baruch Hu is not happy with you, then you, you give up. So you need to use the Yetzir Toiv, says in the Shalom, on one hand, and you need to use the Yetzir Toiv to that, yes, you are doing things right. You're doing things. But along with that, we need to know that you have to keep in mind that we're still lacking in Abayim Hashem. We're not perfect. We have to grow. Again, there has to be this balance. And he brings another Gemara. The Gemara, Misef Tebrachis also, that Nundalad Amar Aleph tells us, that the Ahavto es Hashem Alekecha Bechal And one of the things we learned from that Pasuk, it means that, what does it mean to serve Hashem Bechal Abavcha? So we say, Bishnei Yitzrecha. You have to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu with your Yetzer HaToy and your Yetzer HaRa. Use both of them to your advantage to help you grow. So our Pasuk tells us, says in Ziv Hashem, you need to use the shoiftim and the shoiftim, the policeman and the judge and everybody that's inside trying to convince you to do different things. Don't chase any of them away. You're able to take everything around you and use it for your advantage. You could use your yetzer toy to help you grow and you could use your yetzer hara to, let, to help you grow. And you could know that you can, it, it'll teach you and it'll tell you that you never give up and you're never lost. We, we're okay. Don't let, the, don't let any part of you get you down and say, no, I'm not good, I'm not doing anything right. You are doing things right. But you also, again, have to keep in mind that although you're doing things right, there's always room to grow. Now, we come to Chaydish Elo. So how does this connect to Chaydish Elo? We come to Chaydesh Elul. Chaydesh Elul is called Chaydesh Arachman. And no other month has this title. Chaydesh Arachman. You know what that means? As a month has a title, Rachamim, mercy. And, it's, and there's no other month that is called Chaydesh Arachman. It's a month, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is telling us, that this is a month we were able to come to Tshuva Me'ava we're able to have HaKadosh Baruch Hu has more mercy on us this month than any other month, in the, uh, any other month of the year. And Hashem created this world, as we've said many times, Hashem is not here to box us in, to trip us up. Hashem created this world to do good for us and to make, good, and to make things good for us. And it is precisely for this reason that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us this month of Elul before the Yemei Hadin, before the Chodesh of Tishrei, and before, as we get close to the Yom Naroi, Hashem gave us this Chodesh of Elul so we could do the proper tshuva. And it's a time for us to actually remember, not to, to think of that, no, you know, some people have this idea of what fear is, and we freeze when it comes to Chodesh Elul, but that's not what it's about. We have to remember in Chodesh Elul, how much HaKadosh Baruch Hu loves each and every 
one of us. And it's in that spirit that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us this opportunity of Chaydesh Elo. It's not meant to scare us into tshuva. It's a beautiful time of the year where we can just reassess ourselves and reconnect ourselves to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And as we can develop an entirely new perspective and develop an entirely new relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu during this month before the Yom Narayim. And the Siva Shalom tells us the way to do that is the first posuk in our parsha. Shoiftim v'shoitrim titan l'cha b'chol sh'arecha based on that Gemara and Mesech the Brachas that you have to have a balance. You need the shoiftim and the shoitrim. You need to balance out where don't let what, you know what the, the Yetzir Hara wants most is he wants you to be down. He wants you to think, hey, I'm nothing. The past year went by and I again, once again, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. You know what, I'm throwing in the towel. I'm just giving up. Every year, the same game. I come and I say, I'm going to be better. I'm going to learn more and I'm going to do more. And I'm going to treat my friends better and my family. I'm going to act different and everything. And before you turn around and try to shell out, ah, it didn't work again. What the Yetzirah wants is that you should be down. And you should say, I'm not getting off the mat again. I'm not doing it again. No, you have to know that you are good and everybody makes mistakes. But at the same time, you know you're good, but there's always room for improvement. That HaKadosh Baruch Hu always wants us back no matter what we've done and no matter where we've been. Chaydesh El Yemei HaRacham it means that the rules that apply the rest of the year are off the table. HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives us a new set of rules. He gives us new opportunities, new ways to grow, new ways to develop our relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And that is our parsha. Shoitrim v'shoitrim titan l'cha b'chol sh'arecha. This is the tzaddikim, and this is the rishoyim. And we basically fall somewhere in the middle. We're good, we trip up, we don't, we don't always do the right thing, but we could use everything to our advantage. The Yetzirah tells us that we're not good. It doesn't mean we're not good, no. We're good, but we're not perfect. We could grow. Hashem wants us to grow and He wants us to be better. And that's really the way to step into Chaydesh Elul, the first week, to know you can't chew the whole, you can't do the whole thing at once. It doesn't work that way. The first week of Chaydesh, it's a gradual process. The first week of Chaydesh Elul, we have to tell ourselves, let's see where we stand. Let's try to take baby steps. Let's try to grow just a little bit every day. And let's use Chay Shalom because if it goes by, if this month goes by the same way the past 11 months go by, we're going to all of a sudden be standing at Rosh Hashanah and we're going to really feel bad that we didn't take advantage of these Yimei Arachimim. Let's take the lesson of this parsha, get started with Chay Shalom, and hopefully each week that we'll do the shir, we'll grow, we'll get a little more serious, we'll get a little better each and every week, but this week is the perfect time to start.